Okay, folks, uh, Wednesday we did not get a video because I was doing a whole bunch of DMB stuff, and it just, my, my DMB has lost their fucking mind in terms of asking for pointless shit that you don't need to get your license renewed. So we're going to attempt it today. I think I've got everything that they want. But anyhow, uh, today is going to be a short video because Friday I plan on trying to have a video out on the whole Netflix cuties thing that's happening. Uh, just Gonna probably put my spin on what's happening right now with it, in my opinion of it. So be sure to look for that video on Friday. Today, however, is going to be a very short video. Because I'm going to address a situation, a rumor, an outright lie, that has been coming from all the SJW, The Last of Us Part 2 is the greatest game of our lifetime and we should be honored to buy it and play it crowd that has to go in there and apologize for Neil Cuckman's stupidity. The game is doing horrible. All right? And I want to clarify something because this is also me calling out a couple of YouTubers because they're kind of playing into the same stupidity here. All right. The sale numbers that Naughty Dog are talking about, the sales, when they say over 4 million copies sold, those are not customer sales. Marvel does the same thing within comic books all the time. It's a predatory practice in which Marvel sells, and Marvel's actually post-game Walter White whereas Naughty Dog is pre-game Walter White, they've actually got a lot better, they're a lot better at doing this and getting away with it than Naughty Dog is and people not recognizing it. It's one of the reasons why it took so long for people to realize that Marvel was not selling very well. Because if you go into a comic shop, you'll see a comic book up there. You'll see like seven or eight X-Men comics one will have Wolverine on it, one will have Jean Grey on it, one will have Emma Frost on it, one might have Cyclops on it, one might have uh, uh, Madeline Pryor on it, uh, so on and so on and so forth. Then one will have Beast, one will have Rogue, one will have Storm on it. Those will be the same comic books. What happens is Marvel figured out they could just simply make money by selling large quantities of the same book, putting different covers on it, declaring these covers variant covers, and you wouldn't recognize inside the store that they had large quantities of sucky comics just stuffing the shelves, usually 20 or 30 comics deep. And people would, new customers when they walked in from the movies, wouldn't recognize that, you know, Marvel is selling like shit. So what you see with The Last of Us Part Two, just stocking shelves, that's what's going on with Marvel right now. How does Marvel make money and keep doing this nonsense? Well, it's a predatory practice of they sell directly to a brick-and-mortar store, similar to what Sony does with copies of their games. They produce the games, and then places like Walmart, Amazon, Best Buy come out and buy the games, such as local comic shops buy Marvel comics. What happens is these comic shops, they buy the books, and they put them on the shelves. And Marvel does not count the sales in the stores. They count the sales to the comic shops themselves. Okay, same thing with same thing Naughty Dog is doing right now. Because what Naughty Dog is doing is they are counting the sales to the retailers. There are no sales to the customer base. When you see these stuffed up on the shelves, these are not people buying. Now, let me explain to you why this is bad for Naughty Dog and why every one of you smooth brained, soft headed weirdos who are just absolutely happy with the weird sex scenes that you're getting, but can't seem to stand Ozaki Chan's tits being covered up. All these companies have invested money into this within the several tens of millions of dollars, probably hundreds of millions of dollars, to buy this game and put on their shelves with the hope that they are going to recoup customer sales to customers, individuals, within the several hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars. Okay? Same reason why we're not, to everyone else who's asked, who's asked me before also, why is it Naughty Dog doesn't seem to be panicking too much? Because Naughty Dog and Sony done got their money. They're slightly worried about reputation costs because they don't know how badly this is going to hurt them in the future. 
so they're hoping that this will smooth over by the time Naughty Dog makes another game. So Neil Cuckman's probably going to get a Last of Us Part 3 at some point, unless Naughty Dog jumps in there and hits and fires his ass, tells him he screwed up, and puts the company under someone else's control. Just saying. All right? That being said, yes, 4 million copies have been sold and shipped to retailers. 4 million copies are barely being sold to customers. I think it's just now 4 million players are now playing it or who have played it. I'm quite certain those are people who have bought used copies off eBay. <laughs> All right. When you look at stores like this, this is stacked to high heaven because the box office, because the box stores base the sales of this off the sales of the last game and believe that this was going to be a major blockbuster. And it turns out because of bad story writing and deceptive marketing and the hiring of that stupid devil, Anita Sarkeesian, who went in there and spewed lies and destroyed a game with her deceit and it hurt an entire fan base, permanently damaging the reputation of a company, has now become the biggest flop investment in probably gaming history next to E.T. the game. Because customers are not buying it. But yes, all of you Puritans out there that go after Anita Sarkeesian's bathwater, yes, be certain to be happy about this. Go on and keep believing the 4 million copies sold nonsense. Realize that those are just sales to to Walmart, to Best Buy, to GameStop, to Amazon, to all these box stores and all these shipping companies out there. Just remember, that's who has bought the game right now. The game is not making money for these stores, and they will remember it. When this controversy comes up the second time, promise you, there will not be that many, there will not be that many copies sold. When these companies look up there and go, okay, what happened between now and then? I promise you that Walmart, Best Buy, Amazon, they are in there going through social media looking stuff up and they're finding the people who let the leaks out and they're looking and they're building a profile as to what happened social media wise. They're going to be watching next time the next game comes out. And they're going to be like, this has happened before only by half. We are not going to invest as much as we did last time. Lesson learned. This means that if there is a Angry Tranny versus Angry Lesbian 3, it's not going to be up in the 4 million copies sold. They're not going to buy that many. Whereas if Sucker Punch buys, right now in my hometown, they are currently trying to stock up on Ghost of Tsushima because they've stated they know the new update is coming out. And he said, we've been told the new up." The guy that I talked to before said, yeah, the new update's coming out, and they told us this new update could spike the sales. So they're trying to get a stockpile of Ghost of Tsushima right now in Walmarts to get ready for the release of that, and they can't do it at the moment. It's just selling that good. They're actively trying to produce a surplus for the next big sale, and they can't catch up. Anyway, folks. I'm The Last Raider. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Helps the channel out a lot. Smash the bell. Okay? Ring that sucker as loud as you can so that you'll get the notifications of these videos. And as always, stay safe. Stay frosty. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now.